Hey everyone, uh, we're here today to install the uh, pop cap bumpers uh, for Star Trek. And this mod was created by John Zitterkopf. He's on pin side, I know. And uh, basically, what it does, it replaces the three pop bumper tops um, here, here. You probably can't see it. Let's zoom out a bit. So it's this one here, there's one here, and there's one hidden under here, two under the ramp. Um, and what you need to do to get to the first one is you need to remove the, uh, the vengeance ship here. And the way to do that is there's some screws that you need to remove. There's like six screws and they're all underneath the base of the ship that you need to uh, take out first. So there's three on this side and there's three on the other side that need to be removed. And once we take that out, then we're going to go to the next step of um, getting underneath the, the ship and then replacing the pop cap bumper here and the bulb with the kit. And the kit actually comes pretty professional, like set up the boxing and everything of it. And uh, I have pictures on my website of how it comes, the kit. And it, come, it comes really nice, like uh, the way it's displayed and everything. So... What we're going to do now is remove the ship, remove the, the six screws from the ship, and lift up the ship and then go to the next step. Okay, so now we're on to the next step, and the next step is you need to remove a couple more screws to the base of what the uh, this whole mechanism kind of holds on to here to get to this pop bumper. And there's a screw like buried back here by this little solenoid back here. Let me raise my camera, see if I could kind of get in there, so I got the tripod on here. But it's kind of back here where my pointers, I know it's hard to see, but there's one on this side back here where this number five solenoid is, right below that, there's a screw. And then there's another screw in the front here, wedged in between the ramp that's over here where my middle finger is. I know it's not polite to use that finger, but I have no other fingers available. So it's that plastic there. And there's a screw kind of buried right in between where the ship is and this ramp that needs to come out as well. It's all documented um, on John's website, uh, the instructions on how to do all this. And I'll give a link in the uh, show notes about it as well. But again, there's another screw here. There's two more screws, that one and that one, that need to come out as well to get to this uh, vengeance ship to take it out. So the next step is to take off this plastic over here where I know it's underneath this asteroid here but right here this plastic there's three screws here there's one in the front here and then there's one in the back here and then there's one over here in the middle and I know it's hard to see you know with this asteroid in the way here but there's you'll see it if you were to do this mod there's it's three kind of like in a triangle in a way and those three need to come off as well so we're going to do that next take that plastic off and then uh, get to the vengeance mod and remove it from the uh, play field okay so now that that plastic is removed the one that we're talking about that red one that kind of goes over here there's a screw that's buried you'll see it right by the pop bumper that's here where my middle finger is and it's kind of let me zoom in on that if I could get to it it's really tight and I don't really have a lot of area to work so I can't really move the camera around a lot. But it's kind of like right in here you'll see the black screw. You need to remove that bread plastic to get to that. That screw needs to come out as well. That's the next step we need to remove to get this uh, ship out of here. So we're going to go do that now and then uh, hopefully get the ship out of here. Okay so now I finally removed the ship after removing all those screws. <laughs> I would love to see it when you know someone's light come pops out or whatever and you gotta change this. I guarantee it, 90% of the people, you can't really even see it too much. They probably wouldn't even care to, to go through all this work to have to take the ship off, but uh, to change the light. So basically now we have access to this right here. Let me just fix the camera a bit so it's a bit more centered. So yeah, so this is the pop-upper that we're trying to get to here. And um, I took a like a towel just to kind of rest it on the play field so you don't really scratch anything up with the, the ship. So I would suggest to do that as well. 
Um, and what we're going to do now is take the pop bumper off. And again, my arm might be in the way as we're doing this. But I have to get a smaller screwdriver, actually. But I would also recommend when, when you're doing this mod, a magnetic screwdriver would be a big, big help with what you're trying to do here. Because a lot of screws are buried and it's hard to get to them. So you kind of want a magnetic screwdriver just to kind of get those screws so they're not falling off as you're pulling everything up. So uh, I, would, I would suggest that. So now what you're going to do is take off these two screws here to access the pop bumper top. Again, my arm is going to be in the way, but I kind of have to do that. And again, just be careful of this ship. You don't want to like pull on it. There's like some opto wires and there's solenoids and everything that are in it. So now we removed the top. And you're going to want to now take the other top, the new top, I should say, and they're all different and they're all, you can't, you have to put the right top with the right um, pop bumper. So, so let me get this organized and then we'll come back and show how to install the topper or the pop, the pop topper. Okay, so now what I did was I removed the bulb that was in there, and John gives you a new bulb to replace that with a new LED. So we're going to do that. And again, he's the, um, the what do you call it, the mount, you know, the housing for the uh, bulb in here where you put the, the bulb into. It's a bit, you know, it's on wire, so it kind of goes back and forth. So just kind of hold it down while you're putting the bulb inside the, uh, the LED, uh, you know, unit over there. And then it, there's a red piece of plastic that comes with the kit as well. And then that, I believe, goes over the top like this. And then you would use that squiggly one for this one. And it's called, I guess that's the engineering one. And you kind of have to sink this wire in a bit because these bulbs are a bit like long, like taller and the other this won't clear that so we have to kind of sink that in so I'm gonna go do that now and then we'll be back putting the top on okay so I just got this first top the pop bumper on and basically what I did was I lined up the holes how to sink the screw the light like deeper into the uh, the actual you know pop bumper itself to get the plastic in this top to fit so, and then I just kind of lined it up and I put the first screw in and then kind of found the second hole and then just put that one in. So this one seems like it's on and, you know, ready to go. So what we're going to do now is just test it to make sure that, uh, that it works. Because I don't want to put all this back on and then find out that the, uh, the light doesn't work. So we're going to test it and see what happens. Okay, so we're in test mode in the, uh, the pinball machine. And it seems like the light is on, on the, uh, the pop bumper. So the bulb seems like it works and that's good news. So now I guess we could assemble everything back together again for the, uh, the ship and all that. And then start, I believe, on this third one over here. And while we're here, I guess I'll do the second one. It's easy to get to, I think, but uh, I'm going to kind of do both I guess with the uh, the ship you know what maybe we'll just do them all first and then put the uh, ship back on because we might have to kind of get in there because the next one what we're gonna have to do is uh, can we see it of course this asteroid is in the way here but this one over here there's two screws over here that go this one should be fairly easy but this one under the ramp uh, John is saying like to take this ramp off but I believe I have a screwdriver that's like a, a longer, um, and the one I'm referencing is this one that's under this ramp here. Uh, John is saying to remove this whole ramp and stuff like that, but that seems like a lot of work. Uh, you got to take this wire form off, I'm sure. You know, that's, that runs the length of this plastic ramp to the bottom of the uh, play field. 
So what I'm going to try to do is I have a, a screwdriver that's like part more uh, horizontal than vertical. And I'll use that one to try to get in there and remove the screws and try to get into what we have to do before uh, removing that ramp. So let's start on, I guess, this easy one here. And I'm going to start on this one here. Okay, so now we're going to start on the second one. And I already put the bulb in and kind of like positioned the light, you know, the bulb inside the, uh, the pop bumper to try to get it down to give us more you know, slack on the wire to push it down to, to allow the yellow plastic to go on it. And also you're going to be using this uh, logo, which is the, I'm not a big Star Trek fan, but this one is going to be the, uh, looking for the terminology, that's the command cap is that one. So that one goes on the front here more towards, you know, the player. So what we're going to do now is put um, the screws that come with the kit in there because uh, John supplies longer screws than what uh, was currently in there before. So you have to replace the screws with longer screws that John gives to you. So we're going to now just take this and kind of like lay it on top of that. And it's kind of hard because that ramp is in a way, but I have no other way of kind of getting around it, I think. Now this isn't the most professional here, but yeah, it's kind of hard to get in there. But there's two holes here, you know where my two fingers are, and they line up with the holes on the pop bumper. So what you kind of want to do is you want to take your um, pop bumper here, the cap here, Make sure you have it the right way. Make sure the silver side is going up. And there's plastic that you need to peel off these color uh, plexiglass pieces that he supplies. So don't forget to do that as well. I think it's kind of obvious that you kind of have to do that. But um, so what I do is I kind of just put the screw through like one of the, um, the sides of the bumper here, the top cap. And then I kind of line it up with the hole on the pop bumper itself. Kind of hard to uh, get in position here. I think I got it. So I kind of just snug one side up and then kind of line up the second side here. I know it's kind of hard to see. And then I kind of find the hole on the second side, which is farther here. And you kind of turn it and then. So that's the hole like right there, and then I'll take my second screw and kind of position it down and just screw it in. And don't over torque these either, you don't want to crack your pop bumper. You know the plastics are not, they're thick but they're not that thick when you start really torquing down on it. You could actually crack the plastic on the uh, the white the white pop bumper, so you don't want to do that. So so now we have two installed, and now we're going to start with the third. And hopefully my screwdriver that I have, I could get back there and take this one screw off that's farther back, you know, where my pointer is under this ramp, like right here, so I don't have to remove this whole ramp here and get in there to take that off. So we're going to try that next. Okay, so now I screwed the ship back in here. So the plate is back on again. All the screws that went into the plate field to mount the, uh, the ship back to the plate field, um, that's screwed back into the plate field now. So everything on this side and these two pop uppers are done that we kind of covered already. These two right here. So now we're going to work on this one that's under this ramp right here. I thought I had a screwdriver that could actually, you know, go and not have to take this ramp off, but unfortunately, I don't. So, of course, now I have to take the ramp off, and the ramp's actually not that hard to really take off. And how you do it, I mean, this is how I do it. I, I kind of, I didn't really look at the instructions, but this is how I do it. There's screws in the back here, 
I have to kind of move the camera here so you can kind of see it. There's screws here and on, they are for the post. There's a screw that goes over here on this post. And then basically I took out, and again, I'm in a tight kind of frame here, so I kind of have to kind of swing around here. So I took the wire frame off that goes to the front of the table that, you know, goes back to the slingshot here. That goes here. And then also I had to loosen up the enterprise here to get the bracket off because there's a screw that goes over here into this little, um, the little uh, standoff that goes here. And then under the play field, there's two octos that are on this ramp here. And they go here. So I had to loosen that up from underneath the play field so I could take the ramp and lift it off that way. And I had to move it, unscrew this standoff here to get the um, the meat, the asteroid off so I could move that out of the way. So really, I disconnected this because the wire is so tight that you can't pull that ramp off. So, but now I could kind of take the ramp off and that's kind of what you're going to have to, unless you can find that screwdriver. Somebody posted on pin side, somebody had a screwdriver that they could do that and they didn't have to do this, but it took me 10 minutes. Just remember, just remember when you're doing all this stuff, remember what screws go where. It's very important because if you don't, you're going to forget and believe me, you're going to be like, oh, I know, I know, I know. Make note of it because it's going to haunt you in the end. And you're going to be spending more time trying to find screws than you are uh, doing the actual work. And, you know, I go through that too myself. So, again, make make note of what screws go where. Especially when you're doing this section over here with this, uh, this vengeance ship and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of different screws, a lot of different sizes. There's standoffs that go here. Like they go underneath this plastic that you could lose. There's um, washers that go under here, you know, big washers that you have to watch out for when you're taking this apart. I feel that this is a great mod. I mean, it's, it really really looks awesome. But when these bulbs burn out, I don't think I'm ever going to change them. I think they're just going to stay dark because uh, it's, it's a lot of time and work to actually have to change uh, pop up or lights. And I, it's crazy. It's, am it's amazing how these pinball machines are made, though, by designing and the way that they come up with the ideas and everything give them a I give Stern and Williams and everybody out there Jersey Jack a lot of uh, props for the way that they build pinball machines because it takes a lot of a lot of uh, ingenuity to kind of do what they do but again for us to now have to change lights and all that it's a bit of a pain to do but it is what it is so this is the mod so we're gonna take this pop bumper off here at the top and we're gonna replace it with the new uh, the new one that John created okay so now I put the top on this one and it seems like that one works as well thank God and they all light up and they all look great so uh, the mod is really it's a great mod it's it's awesome but it's I'd say from beginner to novice or to expert it took a lot of time it took a lot of time just to kind of you know, figure out what goes where and what parts. You got to take a lot of parts off to get to those uh, pop bumpers, unfortunately, on this game. And it looks like it's the same with uh, Game of Thrones as well. That looks like a pretty complicated game to have to do any kind of work on. But um, but it makes you very familiar with your game once you take it apart like this and get you get used to the game, like of what is where and. If anything breaks, you kind of remember what was where because you had to change something on it and you had to take half of it apart to get to it. So it makes it easier, you know, if you have to do repairs on your games. So uh, basically what I'm going to do now is just clean the play field in the back here since I have the ramps off and everything. I'm going to wipe it down real quick. So um, that's pretty much it. So we'll do one more shot after everything is put back together again so you get an idea of what it looks like. And that'll be it. So again, we're going to put the ramps back on the way that we took them off. And pretty much that's it. We're pretty much finished with the mod. So I'll be back with the finished product. So while I had the ramp taken off and the whole uh, pinball machine unassembled, I had these um, protectors. They're called like, they're from Freddy's Paradise Pinball or something like that. 
And what they do is they protect the exposed plastic that's on the ramps, like in here. So basically what they do is already installed that this is bare plastic. People are complaining about them cracking. So basically what these things do, they go right over the existing uh, protectors. So the plastic, all exposed plastic, is all covered with the metal. So the fronts are covered by Stern's uh, protectors already. So, but that, but you know, they're thin and they only go like the, uh, the bottom of the, of the ramp. What these protectors do is they cover the rest of the ramp. So I already did this beta uh, ramp and I have to do the alpha ramp next. But again, there's just two pieces of metal, you know, protectors here that I guess Freddie cuts them out and, you know, to the, to the specs of the ramp. And then again, they're really easy. Just unscrew this screw, you know, the screws in the ramps here. And there's like a black, like little rubber housing when you're when you're unscrewing this. Make sure like you hold the bottom of the screw as you're unscrewing it because there's like a black like coating that kind of comes off, but you could reuse it again if you don't mash it up. And then you just screw it over the top of the existing protector, and then your ramps hopefully won't get cracked anywhere, and they'll be protected from the ball hits and all that kind of stuff. So um, now what we're going to do is turn on the machine and see how it looks with the new pop bumpers. While I'm working on this machine, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, Dan at Tilt Toppers for this topper that he created. Um, he makes great stuff, makes great toppers. This is one that he sent to me the other day. And I have a bunch of his toppers. I have a couple on Revenge from Mars. Attack from Mars, Medieval Madness. Um, there might um, might be another one somewhere here. Uh, so yeah, his toppers are great, and uh, that's just another one that is a great topper for Star Trek. So again, I highly recommend him. TiltToppers.com, and again, he makes great toppers, and I highly recommend anything he makes. Okay, so everything is back together again. Um, the ramps and the protectors and everything is put back on. And that's the pop bumpers that we put on from uh, from John Zipkoff. And they look great. And again, they were pretty, they are kind of a pain to put on. I can't lie about that. But, uh, but in the end, they look great. So the mod's really awesome. He has a great package of how he uh, presents his uh, his work, I guess, and how it gets shipped to you. Said so, I got it in a couple days, so everything went really well. So I highly recommend the mod. If you're, as he puts in his instructions, it's like you need a couple screwdrivers and time. <laughs> and he's not kidding, there's a lot of time. And again, um, I can't emphasize about remembering what screws go where. That's that's a big, uh, a big thing and uh, I'm going to zoom out here just to take a look at the whole play field. And basically, if you think you're going to remember, you're probably not going to. So take pictures or just kind of organize it. I, I have like a uh, magnetic like jar uh, lid that I put all my screws and stuff on. I kind of keep them organized in that to where they go back into the machine. So if you have your, your method, I would highly recommend it because this... This mod, you definitely are going to need it. You have to take apart a lot of stuff to get to what uh, you have to do with those pop bumpers. So, um, so thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it. We're up to almost 190 people on YouTube. That's great. Uh, my Twitter pages, I'm getting more follows on there. Facebook, I, I really uh, appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Uh, I like making these videos. I hope they help people out. And again, I make these videos because I look for this stuff on the web and I can't find it. So I'm hoping I could kind of do the same for everybody, you know, give them what, what they're looking for. So again, I have a web page, pinballsupernova.com, a Twitter page, a Facebook page, YouTube. It's all linked to my homepage on www.pinballsupernova.com. And again, I really appreciate the support. And I believe the next mod we're probably going to do is I have a Vengeance mod where the, uh, the bottom turns like all LEDs in the model up there in the middle of the playfield. So I'll probably do that next. 
and hopefully that'll be soon. So again, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.